Hello, and thank you for participating in our online annual discipline specific activity. For those of you that I've not met, I'm Kaylee Malsey, the Associate Dean of School Partnerships here at Penn Highlands Community College. While I have communicated with all of you in some form or another, it is my pleasure to work with each one of you. As many of you know, we typically hold an in-person event each fall, allowing you to work face-to-face -face with the college faculty and our college faculty liaisons to talk about many topics, including course content, delivery methods, assessment, or research and development in the field. This event is a requirement of our NACEP accreditation. While it saddens us that this year we were unable to hold an in-person event due to the COVID-19 pandemic, our liaisons have worked hard to provide an opportunity for us to still meet the requirements in some face-to-face -face format. In the fall, faculty liaisons held live Zoom meetings with ACE faculty. We understand that not everybody was able to attend these meetings at the specific time, but the meetings were all recorded and have been uploaded for you to complete and view at your leisure. Supporting documents from all of these meetings are also included on the training pages. We appreciate your time in completing the annual discipline specific activity. There is a short survey that we are asking you to complete once you have completed the training. If you have any questions regarding this training or other requirements, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. You can email me at kmalsey at penhighlands.edu or give me a call at 814-262-3859. Thank you again for your dedication to the students and your participation in the ACE program. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Susan Donald and I am an ACE liaison for Penn Highlands um, and the healthcare um, science courses. So. Um, I'm solo tonight, there's nobody um, in my class, so I'm just gonna be talking to myself, which isn't as much fun, but we're still get through it. Um, first of all, I wanna tell you, thank you for being an ACE, late, an ACE instructor. Um, I know it's like extra work for you, um, but it is greatly appreciated. Um, we, we do appreciate you um, doing this for us. So, um, so what I wanna to talk to you a little bit about tonight is public health. And you're probably thinking, ah, public health, we've, I'm so full of public health with COVID and everything else. But I want to bring, bring it to your attention that public health is a growing um, field in jobs. A lot of um, colleges now offer degrees in public health, whereas years ago they hadn't. Um, they actually predict in the next 30 years a 13% growth in public health jobs. Um, so this is something that you may want to refer to a student um, that maybe is interested in the healthcare and isn't quite right for a doctor or a nurse, but still wants to do something in the healthcare, um, healthcare field. So like I said, I just wanted to uh, bring this to your attention and um, go over a few things. And um, if you do teach a, um, one of our health and nutrition classes too, I think this is a great thing to incorporate into a health and wellness course as well is public health. So I do have a... Um, PowerPoint here, so I'm gonna to try to share my screen here if I can. All righty, um, I think I already start, answered this. The first slide is why, is, why, why, why should we talk about public health? And I already addressed this. I increased the, um, the jobs and that more schools are offering um, public health majors. Um, there's also a lot of specialty degrees in public health too, um, you know, from hazardous wastes to maternal infant. Um, there's, there's quite a number of um, different opportunities out there to even specialize in public health. Um, when we talk about public health, you know, I guess first we should start about what, what is public health and how does it impact, you know, our lives and what, what are these jobs that are out there in public health? Well, first of all, when you talk about health in general, of course, health is the state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being that is completely free of disease. That's what health is. But public health is a science. It's an art. It is a... Um, multitude of things. It's we prevent disease, prolong life, um, promoting health throughout the um, organized efforts of society. So it's a team effort, public health. Um, since we've had public health, um, going back to the 1900s, from 1900 to 1999, people are living much longer and that's, that's obvious. Um, it's an increase of 30 years. So it tells you what public health is doing is working. It is, it is definitely working. 
Um, this is this is um, public health by definition. Of course, all good instructors always have to have a definition of public health. So I have to have a slide in there for that. Um, but it is the science of protecting and improving the health of people in their communities. And this work is achieved by promoting healthy lifestyles. And that's 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 something that we do in our health and wellness course as well. So the three major roles of public health that, that they focus on um, and a lot of the jobs um, are divided into these um, three roles. Um, first one is protection. Um, protect, they protect us. Um, you have OSHA, which protects you at work. Um, control of infectious diseases, hazardous materials. Um, all these kind of things are in the roles of the protection part of public health. The promotion part, um, improving health, okay? We wanna, you know, your nutritional labels on foods, um, all the smoking information that we get and warnings, um, these are all promoting good health. And then of course our prevention is probably what, what public health is most known for is vaccinations and screening. And uh, I know when I ask people what they think of public health, one of the first things they think of is vaccines and infectious diseases. But like I said, there's definitely more to public health and public health jobs um, than just that. So let's take a scenario. When I teach students about public health, um, how do you go about teaching them what all public health does? Well, this is kind of what I do. I give them a scenario, okay? And I kind of compare it, okay? We, um, first scenario is look at public health in, in, your, in your daily lives. Say you're going to work and you're T-boned at an intersection. An elderly woman T-bones you. You end up going in an ambulance. You end up breaking your arm and you, you sprain your ankle and you're going to be off of work now. You're going to be off of work for maybe a month or more. Okay. All right. The, clinical, the, cl the clinical part health is going to fix your injuries and send you home. Okay. That, that's, what, that's what the clinical side of medicine does. But public health, public health is gonna do more. And even from a simple accident, there's gonna be data collected from that. Um, you're gonna have a, um, a PennDOT person go out and look at the roads. They're going to assess the roads. Were there um, faulty um, road conditions? Um, were there signs um, visible? Um, then they're gonna look at um, you know, the woman who, who hit you. Did she have visual problems? Were there um, um, you know, drug and alcohol? Um, and the same with you, with any accident. But a lot of these, these things are all reported um, to public health. So public health asks how and why of, of, of events and accidents, so to speak. Um, even when you go home, um, they're going to ask, they're going to be involved in things like, well, you know, with you being off work, do you have transportation? Is your car work, you know, able, are you able to get, you um, you know, to work, from work, or, or able to have a support system at home. Um, so all these, all these things are incorporated into public health. So giving them a scenario like that sometimes is a good way um, for them to understand what all public health uh, involves. Um, this is just a, um, a guide too that um, reminds us that we, there's the, the partners of public health. Um, the community is a big part of it. And yes, we do have government. You know, we have state and federal government that helps us with the laws and, you know, and they are good laws. I mean, uh, you know, we have our seatbelt laws, our smoking laws um, that help keep us health, keep us healthy and keep us safe. So it is a definite um, partnership with the community and community efforts. Um, when you're teaching this in your classrooms, um, I have a lot of great um, web pages to go to and activities that you can do, if, if we ever get back in the classroom, that is, um, about public health. One of the ones that I like a lot is this one. This is a um, website. It's actually by um, North Dakota um, Public Health Department. Uh, it's called A Day in Your Life, Thanks to Public Health. This is, this is um, what it is, it's kind of like a PowerPoint presentation, but it goes through, um, and it's something they can do um, online activity, um, but it goes through a day in the life of a person um, from the time they get up in the morning um, to brushing their teeth to, you know, there again, public health. Public health um, assures you that you have safe water to drink. And it goes through their day um, as far as, um, you know, from the breakfast 
to the, the milk that we're drinking. The milk has to be pasteurized. Juices are pasteurized. Those are all laws of public health to keep us safe. Um, and it goes into some organizations too. Um, the Women, um, Infant and Children Program, the WIC program. This has been a public health service um, for years that ensures that children get proper nutritional health um, as well. So it hits on some things like that. Um, as it goes through the day, of course, it talks about car seats, um, immunizations, of course, they have to hit on that. Things in your everyday life that you may have not have realized that public health has a hand in. Um, here are exercise programs, YMCAs, um, you know, community activities like this, the public health here again is involved in this. Smoking, you know, uh, good, a feel good at work because your company is a smoke-free workplace. Public health, this is probably one of their um, greatest accomplishments over the past few decades is um, a smoke-free uh, workplace and smoke-free restaurants. They've really done a wonderful job as far as protecting workers and um, the public from secondhand smoke. Um, so this has been one of their greatest accomplishments. Um, of course, it, it goes on to talk about the FDA um, as far as how they oversee diners and lunches and restaurants and, and things like this too. So it's a, it's, it's a really good thing that they, you, can, you can give them as a, a home activity to, to view. Um, here again, it goes into recycling and it, it educates them in a um, PowerPoint form, but yet um, they can relate to it. I think high schoolers would relate to this very well. I know the college, the college kids do as well. Um, there's another one that I like to use as well, and it is by the World Health Organization actually, which is WHO. Um, and it is a video production, which I, I'm not gonna play for you. I have this on my um, PowerPoint slide. Um, if you're interested in it, I can, you know, just email me, I'll send you the link. Um, but this is um, Bringing Health to Life. And it is an animated version of a family that gets up in the morning and turns some of it on um, that takes you through a day in the life as well and brings out the um, the star points of how public health is involved in their day as well. So it's similar to that um, PowerPoint, except it's more of a video. But I see the kids seem to um, learn very well by this too. Um, and then another activity is to actually have them um, start their day and log how many different things they they um, can think of every day that um, it, it, that involves public health. And it's amazing what they come up with. They, they can come up with things that maybe I didn't necessarily think of. I mean, um, walking trails. One, I, one student I had had I brought up about walking trails um, in her community, um, bicycle trails, walking trails. And yeah, they, they are public health um, services too. Um, so it's, it's amazing what they can come up with if you give them a type of project like that. Uh, and here is the bringing to health, uh, to life um, link that I have on here as well. Um, if we ever get back in the classroom too, another great assignment too um, for health and nutrition is to, um, for them to break down the sugar content um, of a lot of the drinks that they that the kids are drinking now, you know, the Dunkin' Donuts, the Monster drinks, the energy drinks, um, and actually um, make a um, a uh, a board with that. Um, but here again, that's something that um, we need to get back into the classroom <laughs> to do. Um, so. But I have a lot of great ideas as far as public health goes in educating. If you ever need anything, please don't hesitate to um, uh, email me. Um, I was hoping to get some feedback from some of um, you as far as maybe some projects that you have learned that you've used in your um, health and wellness courses. Um, but yeah, and if there's anything you'd like to bring to my attention, um, feel free to um, email me. Um, here is a, also a list too I have. These are public health jobs that are out there. Um, you know, in case students would want to know, you know, well, you know, what can I, what can I do uh, with a public health job? Um, well, here's your answers. Here's, here's a lot of, uh, these are a lot of public health jobs. And I anticipate after COVID um, that there's going to be a lot, a lot more jobs um, because I think uh, a pandemic this, this size is going to be something that 
they're not, they're not, they're going to want to prevent this from ever happening again. So I think there's going to be a lot of prevention jobs out there, a lot of data collectioning jobs out there, um, and things like this in the public health roles. So, like I said, if you have a student um, that you that you think is is would be good in in a in healthcare. Um, but just maybe not necessarily in a clinical perspective of it, this is something you might want to recommend to them. So, um, okay, well, that's really all I have for you this evening. Like I said, I was hoping that we could um, talk about some um, learning techniques or maybe some favorite websites that we use um, in teaching. But being that I'm alone tonight, I, we're not going to have that. So, um, but I hope this helped a little bit, um, you know, perhaps with a student that, 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 that may be interested in public health. And um, I, I hope, like I said, I hope to get out to um, meet some of you again and um, that's it. So have a good, have a good night and um, everybody stay safe and stay well.